Alright guys, today in this video we will be working on my 1986 Yamaha Moto 4200. Today we will be doing some very necessary work of replacing the rear disc brake pads and then replacing the front drum brake pads. First we're going to be doing the discs because I hear they're the easiest. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna have this wheel off and then I'll show you the rest then. All right guys, so I just got the caliper thanked off, took the cover off and there is the disc brake. Here's the caliper. Now I gotta take them two bolts out right there so I can fix it. I'll put new pads in and we'll be good to go. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this caliper off and I'll be back with you guys then. All right guys, got it all apart. And uh, here's the caliper in most basic form. Here is the rear end, here's the discs. So yeah, that pretty much sums up how this works and I will see you guys in the next video. Just for that little interruption, somebody said they'd ride up on me and scare the crap out of me. So I tried my hardest to end this video, but you know, we're gonna go back to working on it. So here is the caliper. I just put one of the brake pads in. Now we're gonna put it back on. It just goes in there like this, slide on. And then you pretty much just slide the whole disc back as one piece, just like this right here. If I can get to do it. But yeah, just slide it all on. And uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second when I got this slid on. All right, I slid it on. Now we're going to put the second brake pad in, which these things are absolutely just cute. So now we got the second brake pad in. This cover goes back on. This actually just rides on the axle. Nothing really holds this in place else than the fact of the disc kind of holding it there and then this goes on and then this bolts back on and then it kind of you know you can see how this works pretty much pretty fairly easy uh yeah so and that goes in there like that that's the piston of the brakes right there and uh yeah it's super simple uh, very smart design easy to work on i'm starting to like this little quad a lot more because <laughs> uh that's pretty quick so, uh, yeah, I'm going to put all this back on. We'll be back with you guys, and we'll do the fronts. All right, guys, we got that all put together. And something I really love about this design is, instead of having to touch these cables, you can actually just tighten that inwards. Loosen this little lock nut, tighten that inwards, and that will adjust your brake pads for you. So, yeah, that's a great design. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to start working on the front brakes. This is... Alright guys, so this right here is the wheel and hub, obviously. So now you can see that these are the brakes. They're very tiny brake pads. And you can see this isn't a tapered shaft. So when the wheel bearing wears out, it just wears out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this came off fairly easy. You know. I don't have, I'm probably going to have to sand down that drum a little bit to get these brake pads to fit in, the new ones. But I'm about to show you all guys how to obviously pull off brake pads now pull them off super easy just like this Ta -da. now you see how that came off at a v that's exactly how you need to put them back on because you need to put them back on a v and flip them over the hub so yeah i might find y'all stand because there's no way i can videotape doing this like none whatsoever so there's the other set of brake pads I already did one side because you don't need to see me doing something twice. So here is the new brake pads, obviously. And uh, yeah, the Timberwolf is not in its spot because I moved it over so I could put my four wheeler here. And here is the Timberwolf sitting right there. So first, this is little Moto Four. Let's see if I can set y'all up a stand so that y'all can watch the video with me. Let's see. Ah, uh, that ain't work. Okay, let's think outside the box here. Nope. Okay, might have to think for a second here, guys. So give me a second to think and I'll be back with you. Alright, guys, so I'm back. Uh, kind of came up with a way to make the uh, camera work, but not really. Well, uh, it only do, you can't really see what I'm doing, but uh, I will turn the wheel so you can kind of get a reference. So you want to do your brake pad like that. 
go to the axle, get the line up on the bottom first, then the top, and then simply flip it all over and then kind of pop on it until it pops into place. Simple as that. Uh, you get that a little straighter. And boom, just like that, you have to install new brake pads. That's why I love this little bike. It's super simple to work on. Then you just simply put your wheel back on, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to slide on because these freaking uh, brake pads have wore grooves in this thing, so uh, it probably won't slide. Okay, look at that. Brake just slid right back on, so uh, yeah. And that is going to be it for this little tutorial on uh, this little video of how to uh, put brakes on the Yamaha or a 19 Yamaha. Oh my gosh, let's start all over. That's going to be the end of this video on how to put brakes on a 1986 Yamaha Moto 4200 DXS. Of course, uh, I still have some other little things to do, like spark plug. That's super simple though, and a fuel filter, which is also super simple. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this short little video on part three of the Yamaha Moto 4 project. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.